Welcome, welcome! It's my dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today I am going to bring you the Origin 100 series ships. Uh, these ships, I, I gotta be honest, when they first announced them, concept, I was like, oh boy, another starter ship that's crappy. Yeah, I mean, you know, the starships aren't crappy really, but they're just not, you're not, they're not great. A lot of people are going to want to get out of their Auroras, their Mustangs, uh, you know, they're, they're going to want to move into a bigger, better ship. I was just not on board with the 100 series. Now that 311 is in the PTU and I can test fly these ships, I kind of had a change of heart. You know, I, these ships look really nice and they're spacious and it's, I like these ships. I like it over the Aurora. I like it over the Mustang. It's not even close. They, they really did a good job of bringing this into the universe. It's, it's just a really pretty ship. Um, you, you know, it's not going to have a m bunch of different functionality compared to your Aurora or your Mustang, but it's stylish. It flies pretty well for the most part. It is a little drifty if you're not using your afterburners, which I mean, you should use your afterburners. This thing can, you know, get fuel back pretty easily. It's built, all the hundred series are built to be able to scoop up fuel. This thing has two cargo unit spaces. Uh, you know, it's got some guns on it. Now, the guns, I've heard a couple different things. The ship development page, which is never right, says two size ones. I want to say these things are size two or size three on here. I believe they're size three mounts, but they have size two gimbaled on here right now. So if it has two size threes on it, it's a pretty nice, package on this ship I mean two size threes can do some damage uh, it's still not gonna be an Avenger Titan which is why the Titans gonna go up in price and it's not a 300 series which is why it's going up in price and towards the end of the video I'll show you the size comparison between the 100i and the 300i but this is a really good-looking cool ship I really like it, and uh, I, I think there's a lot of people out there are pleasantly surprised what this ship looks like. So the 100i in particular, would you get it over an Aurora MR or a Mustang Alpha? My decision would be heck yes, and I'm probably going to upgrade whatever Auroras or Mustangs I have to these ships. Uh, you know, when they are released with 311, either using store credit or whatever, I'm, I'm going to upgrade them and uh, have a little bit better starters. Not that I'm going to really use the starters that much, but, you know, I, I do like the, this ship much better than, than the basic Mustang or Aurora. Sadly, I know all you Aurora fans are going to hate me, but it's just, it's a much cooler ship. Uh, it, I feel like it flies better. You know, the cargo space is, is nice. Of course, you know, Aurora's can have some external cargo space with the big box or whatever. But yeah, I mean, I like this ship. I think it's going to be really great. It's got a good top speed. As you can see, it'll, it'll hit almost a thousand meters a second. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next 100 series ship, and that's the Origin 125A, or the 125A. I don't know why I said 125A. Anyways, this is the fighter variant, whereas the 100 is a touring type variant. Uh, you can kind of cruise the solar system, you know, cruise several solar systems in it. Uh, it's just a fancy little ship. This one has a role as far as fighting. It is designed to be a fighter. Now the difference between this one and the other two is it comes with missiles as a standard part of the package or several missiles. I I don't want to I don't want to speculate on this which size missiles, but I, I think it's size three that you can have on here. 
um, but I think it might come with stock size too. But yeah, missiles on this thing, plus the same kind of armament you would have on the 100i as far as the guns. It's not too shabby. You still have space for two cargo units on this ship, which is really nice. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of fighting style ships that have cargo area, uh, you, except for maybe the MISC, MISC, uh, the MISC Freelancer MISC. It has cargo and nice guns and a lot of missiles. Uh, the Connie Andromeda, that, you know, those are all multi-crew ships, but if you're talking starter ships, there's not a lot of cargo options on the more fighting-oriented ships. So definitely a bonus on this one. Uh, again, it, it is actually the faster of the three. Uh, its cruise is like 20 meters a second faster than the uh, 100i. I believe it comes in at 230 meters a second. The 100i is about 210 meters a second. And the 135C, which we'll see here in a little bit, is actually a little bit less than that at 190 meters a second. Uh, so it's definitely a faster ship. It can definitely do that interceptor roll if you wanted to do that. Uh, you know, the components on all these things are very, are all small. They only like have one component for each thing, like one shield, one um, cooler, one, you know, just everything's like one. There's not, well, it may have two coolers. Point being is, you're not going to break the bank if you optimize this thing, you min-max it, and make it the most powerful ship it can be. It's not going to break your bank. So definitely look to upgrade all the weapons, all the components on these starter ships, uh, and it just makes them that much better. I do like the little origin graphic on the paint scheme uh, that you see on the top of the ship. That is really cool. Do you guys like that? Do you wish that more ships had that their logos painted on their you know the front end uh, or the top or somewhere I, I know that most of them have some sort of logo but i mean that's just really well done i really like uh, the way that that one looks uh, let me know in the comments down below if you agree that it looks sharp uh, so what do you think about this 125a is this something you would like to get now I think I would get this one over the 100i just because, hey, it's got a few more missiles. It pretty much has the same kind of cargo capacity and it's faster. Uh, so yeah, I would get this one before that one, I would think. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, let me know down in the comments which one you would prefer to get if you were getting them. I will say something I've noticed is it's pretty touchy when it comes to landing. Uh, I, I think there must be a thruster output issue because it is very uh, wonky or like it's all or nothing almost. I mean, it's watch how hard this thing goes down to the surface here. Uh, yeah, I mean, the thrusters are really kicking up, so it might have a thruster issue that they have to take a look at and fix. I don't know. Let's move on to the 135C. This is the cargo variant, and it's in this blue color. I'm not sure I like the blue. The white actually looks the best to me out of those three colors that they're offering on these ships. The blue is okay, but yeah, I just I think I like the white more. Um, do y'all have a favorite color for these ships? I would love to see like a matte black or something, something that, I don't know, I'm just a fan of the stealthy look, you know, something that blends in with the space backdrop uh, but yeah all these ships are essentially the same on the inside as you can see i really do love how they have this door open and these stairs come down really cool animation uh, you know the cartoon all has cool animation this kind of takes a small page out of its book not a big one uh, where the stairs on the cartoon all are kind of like hovering and stuff and when they come down uh, really cool but yeah, this ship is designed with six units of cargo space in it. So it should be able to transfer cargo fairly well for you starting out. Uh, I mean, it's it's more than a lot of the other ships out there unless you get up into the uh, Avenger series or, uh, you know, even beyond that. Uh, so definitely a ship you should look at if you're trying to get into the cargo 
gameplay early on and you want a starter ship that can do it, uh, this is one that I would definitely pick up over some of the other starters out there. It's just, I, I don't know, I, I really like this 100 series ships. I think they look sharp, they fly well. I mean, there's a lot of things that feel like it has going for it that the Mustang and the Aurora don't have. Uh, I, let me know in the comments down below, do you agree with that? Or is it something that you're gonna have to experience before you believe it? Uh, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it took me experiencing it as well because Again, I was not on board with these 100 series ships. I thought, oh, this is a waste of time. We have the 300 series. You know, why do we need 100 series? I, I still don't know why we exactly need 100 series, but I feel like they're better than the other starter ships that are out there that are just priced just a little bit below it. Uh, I would still probably go with uh, an Avenger or, um, well, you know, use Freelancer, something like that. But. Not everybody has that kind of money to spend, so this may be a little bit more in line with what they do have to spend. And finally, we go into the hangar, and you guys can see uh, the difference between the 300i in size and shape compared to the 100. The 300i is definitely much bigger. It stands a little higher off the ground. It's got a little bit more, uh, more space in the body. Although I would say that after the 100 series has come out, you know, the 300i just doesn't have as much shine to me. It just, you know, the 300 series, other than maybe the 350R, which is a, the racing ship, I mean, I, I may not keep my 300s just because I have ships that I feel do the same thing better or, yeah, I mean, the 350R will probably be the only one I would keep out of that series of ships. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thanks again. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse.